Hello, and welcome back to our Corvirian Chronicles campaign. Uh, we're playing Ambernard as vampires. This time, this time, we are actually vampires. We are the true Umbral Lord. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got some, we've got some other things to do. We've got, we've got to unite the folly, make our army fearful, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but we're looking, we're looking pretty hot right now. Uh, there is a... Uh, a sub mod that I have added to the game since uh, the last time I played this, and that is the population counter made by Hehodas, which is one of the developers um, on Anbanar, but he's just made it as a separate sub mod, um, which will let me know exactly the population of my country, which is kind of freaking awesome. Uh, Hehodas also has a, um, a province named after him. I think it might be like maybe this one it's one of these dwarven holds um i don't recall which one but uh he's got a, he's got a province named after him which is pretty cool anyway uh let us click our population counter and let's see how many people we have in our country calculate the, the population um so yeah maths of the following uh first point of dev in any province is equal to two and a half thousand people each subsequent point of dev is eight percent more valuable than the precedent small minorities represent five percent of the province population large minorities are ten percent um the numbers are not canon blah 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 uh there is some more math to it that you get to know on the steam workshop page for it something like kobolds or or each dev of kobolds is worth more than a, a dev of ogres for example so, let's have a look. Let's calculate the Corvaria population. We have in our country a little over two million people. Two million people. Uh, we have 0.07 thousand elves. We've got 46 thousand halflings, 35 thousand half orcs. Um, for humans, we've got 1.8 million, uh, 56 thousand gnolls. 17,000 goblins, 90,000 half-elves. Did we already see half-elves? Oh, no, elven population is not being out Half-elves are 90,000. Uh, there's no ogres, no harimari, no centaurs, no hobgoblins, trolls, harpies, uh, ruin-born, orcs, kobolds, or gnomes, or dwarves in our country. I really, I really like this. You know what I feel about, like, populations and stuff. Always a big fan of pops in any capacity. I just want to know who's living in my country. You know, it's it's not too difficult to understand. Uh, flooded cost for 56 dev. Holy shit, I probably should, uh... Probably should have made that a, uh, a full state. Thankfully, I think Nalathair, which is responsible for most of it, is already full cord. So, it's not going to cost me a massive amount. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, 15 on North Dreadmire, that's not really good enough, I don't think. But yeah, that's, that's nice, that is nice. Do we have any edicts going on that I can get rid of? Development here? I don't know if that's actually necessary at this point. We were trying to develop Gablain. Gablain's at 30 now, did I need it for a mission? Gablain needed to be dev 30. Yeah, okay, so we've already done it. We've already done it. Uh, so I no longer need that on. So we'll turn that off because it's bloody expensive. Have I checked the ogres that start in the marshes near the dwarven capital? They have one of the best national idea sets and missionaries. I haven't yet. There's, there's honestly, there's so much in this one. It's not like playing one country is kind of similar to playing the country next door to them. There's so much variety. Um, but no, I haven't yet checked out the Ogres. Um, like I said, I recently did a campaign as Nimscod over here. They're a lot of fun, until Gawed says no. Um, after Corvuria, I don't know who I'm going to play, but I will be playing some more Anbanar, for sure. Uh, let's have a look at what missions we want to do next, right? We're going to control our trade. Gablain needs to be 30 on that. Mercantilism needs to go up. I need, uh, the center of trade to be level 3. That's going to suck. That's going to be difficult. Uh, uniting the Folly, all of the provinces in Darvan's Folly region must be mine, have, have my cores on them, they must be my culture um, as well. So looking at the culture map mode, it's honestly it's just Nalathair that is the wrong culture, everything else is Corvurian. 
Actually, that there, which is a wordy. Do you need that? You don't. Yeah, it's literally just Nalathair that needs converting. Oh, it's already being converted. I didn't click that. It must have been a mission thing. One of these probably converted it for me. I don't even know. Well, it's being done. Alright, lovely. Make the army fearful. I need to get a level 3 military advisor. Uh, I need to have all of the provinces in Dostan's way owned by me or my subject. That can be done pretty easily. Um, improve my fabric industry. I need Holstead to have uh, production 6 and Circover. We can, we can get that done real quick. Circover. And there it is. Corvurian high fashion is rightfully well regarded by our neighbours. Our gothic styles demand emotion and vindication rather than pomp and unnecessary ostentatiousness like those in Anbana or Laurent. By improving the production of such fabrics, we may continue this tradition. And I get a lot of... Uh, a lot of... A lot of, uh, lot of dev for that. That's pretty nice. 15% production efficiency of 20 years. Also pretty good. Boom. Done. Fantastic. Um, let's have a look at my feller here. You know what? Let's just promote. Oh, unless there's the one for half price. I mean, they're all pretty cheap at that level. Maintenance modifier is probably the best one to make cheaper. But there we go. We'll do that. For far too long, our armies have been viewed as a mere peasant rabble. It may take a generation of military reform and training, but in time our, our, our enemies will learn to shudder in fear at the sight of the Black Raven. So I lose 300 mil points, gain 40 army tradition, and I get professionalism plus one, regiment costs are more expensive. Well, shit. Okie dokie. Uh, this one needs me to have at least... Two countries, apart from myself, are an elector and have a high opinion of me. The Dark Legion, 50% army professionalism. Here, the Way of Dostan needs to be done. Raven March, need, I guess I need to integrate Raven March. Uh, to import Silk, I need to have 30 prestige. It's pretty easy. Uh, I need printing press there. Okay. Oh, also the stuff here that I haven't done. Integrating now, now to there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm liking that. We're all we're doing all right there. I guess I do need to attack this guy though, because this guide's way needs to be ours. If I was to attack Deadfang, you'd call in Dog Eater and Blade Breaker. Not too terribly worried about that. I do have a claim. Um, I'm making money. If I'm at full maintenance, do I still make money? <laughs> yes! Yes, I do! It's close, but I do make money. Also, I've got some separatists in a place. Where is said place? Oh, on the island. Yeah, that makes sense. kind of want to culture convert and, and religiously convert this island. Get rid of the Krathenori or whatever the hell they're called. Tech-wise, massively ahead of time. That's good. Getting that economic idea and then the dev cost and then the quantity plus economic synergy for dev cost is going to be really nice. We're still studying magic. She died from an illness contract in the field. War wizard personality die description. Nice. Okay, so my war wizard died. That sucks. I guess we can definitely do that. Uh, if anyone wants to have a, a commander named after them, uh, channel points are a thing. I need to save my prestige because uh, we have a prestige mission thing coming up. Mages are buying land. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, is there any missions I can do? 
We will summon the Diet. You want me to have a temple in Bal Award. You want me to have a workshop in Bal Award. And you want me to have a spy network in Gromba. For 50 Diplo points, that's not bad. Do you want production or base decks in Bal Award? Definitely production. Workshop Bal Award. Need 85 ducats first. I mean, we've got... Mm, Naval Supplies isn't terrible, I guess. Thing is, I just need to save money so I can upgrade this Emporium. Because it is needing to be level 3. Major Style offers help in magic study. Shit, hell yeah, why not? Monster CB on Kodavik. How, how long does this... Oh, that's a permanent CB. Good. Cave Goblins over there. That's fine. We'll ignore them. Magisterium is being occupied by the Damish Temple. Sucks to be them, I guess. Alright. Let's... I definitely don't want to give my ruler military command. That would be rather terrible. It is horribly raining outside. That is that is quite a lot of rain. I don't know if you can hear that on uh, through through the stream. All right, let's have uh, yeah, whatever. Fucking hello there, good lord! It's time for fucking war. We'll decrease our fucking paragon hunt. Whatever, I don't care. It's time for war. Let's go. I might have been able to actually just intimidate him. Uh, do a threat in war instead. Ah well, whatever. So, let me just have a look here. Uh, which one is it? Uniting the Folly? No. The Way of Dostan. And then that leads on to the Path of Ravenmarch, means I need to take all of that land. So I guess I'm just going to give all of this land to my vassal. Five day siege ticks. What? Why? Orcish military and fort in disrepair. Maybe your fort shouldn't have been in disrepair, buddy. That's, uh, that's pretty rough, not gonna lie. Alright, we're going to give all of this to Raven March. It took longer to siege unoccupied province or unfortified province than it did to siege a fucking uh, the fort. That's mental. Oh shit, hello. Dreadfang is, is coming around the outside. Highly, highly rude. Yeah, I would run too, Brick. I can get into this ancient forest. It's only a negative one to uh, dice rolls. Too slow, bitch. Printing press. Okay, I need that for a mission. So hopefully we'll get it fast. Unfortunately, I can't follow... And got a raven march as well. Right, yeah, I forgot. I forgot we do have that whole situation with uh, with a with a with a thing going on. We could let's have a look at the various uh, states. There they are. Um, they're all really tiny states. Maybe we'll give it Clovenwood. Give him Clovenwood, and I will pillage your capital, because screw you. Take some money. A little bit of money. 
And yeah, that'll be enough. It all goes to my vassal anyway. So I don't need to deal with it. Easy. Easy peasy. That is mission fulfilled. The way of Dostan. When the Castanite tribe was lost in the deep woods, they were let out of it partly due to Castan's friend Dostan. In exchange for his aid, Castan granted the lands beneath the God Shield Mountains to his companion, naming after him Dostanor, just as he did with Castanor. Now that the heirs of Castanor are no more, we must repay the favour. So again, two base tax in Dostan's way, and Raven March is now a vassal. Instead of being a march. The way of Dostan. And my claims are extensive. Yeah, becoming a vassal without having the problematic, uh, you know, removing, oh, we used to be a march and you made me a vassal, big re thing going on is quite nice. Uh, we've got the idea, we can take that freely. Yeah, we can. Lovely stuff. That means we can set ourselves up with development cost and land force limit modifier. Sick. This is available for no cost? Why? Are all of these available for no cost? No, pause. That's a lie. Why, why would it tell me that it's available for no cost when that's clearly not the case? Highly, highly suspect. Alright, screw it. You can drill. There we go. Uh, we've got a costly trade embargo on Sirenva. So we'll revoke that embargo. There's actually only two available people to embargo. That's six out of four here. Mm, Mountain Hugger in the south I might want to get rid of. I could integrate them. Yeah, let's start improving relations with him, so I want to annex the fella. I think I actually want a second general. If we're if we're getting sick-ass generals like that. Robin Cowell, here we go. Oh, he's so good! Castan of Livergrave. Not disappointing. Disappoint. Let's fuck it. One more. Edmund of Can Valley. One more. Errol Sil Can Marion. Ah, it's so good. Right, fuck off and fuck off. And we'll have you there and we'll have you there. Hell's fucking yeah. Also, we can build supply depots because that's a thing that people do, I think. Oh no, I've never done it. Gem Isle is still revolting. Sir, the people are revolting. Yes, I know. They stink. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, there's my facade. Facade? Facade? I don't know. How are you supposed to check this? There's no... Oh, you just hover over this. There's no suspicion right now. Good. Let's, let's, let's check our population. 2061... Changes into 20. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Why not sell the one glade entrance province you own since it's not very useful anyway? Yeah. I suppose. It's a nice place to have like a fort, even though I haven't fortified it, but it would be a nice place for a fort. I could turn it into a trade company. It's already Corvurian Coronite, though, is the issue. I'd just turn it into a trade company. I mean, trade wise, are we still. I haven't really changed anything. All right, you're chain marshes. All right, you're pushing here and then you're collecting here. That's fine then. Our trade situation is still not great.
Spence, how much will they give me for it? Sell Provent Other at War with Rail Skulker. Where is Elinatair? Right there. Oh, excuse me. Silence. Phone. Just make sure I get close to it before I accept. Lorest watch would be a better position for it. Yeah, you're probably right. Marshes. Also protects more land. Yeah, you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. When he's not at war, I'll do that. Now the question is... Do I start conquering? I kind of want it less conquering and more I want money. Gain Paragon Hood, yes. Oh wow, my heir is fertile. But also not a vampire, so who cares? Nobody wants filthy elves since they taste weird. Well, I have in my country 0.07 thousand elves. So I do. I, d I don't know where they are, though. Are we still studying magic? He is studying magic, okay. We've managed to convert the heretics of Withican to the one and only true faith. Mm. I still want to do this. I still want this. I want to, I want to get everything converted. Oh, actually, you're converting for me again, so I'm going to leave it alone. Fuck it. We have seven elves. Is that what 0.07,000 is? Isn't that not 700 elves? I don't know. No, you're probably right. Shock damage plus 30%. Fuck yeah. Coronite Crusaders, so we are. Honestly, we, we have to go to war with that. Coronite Crusaders buff. That's fucking sick. Those are never going to rise up. You know what? I don't think you need... I have three 16k stacks. Let's fucking go. Right, who are we going to attack? as well. See, the thing is, I want to make money here. Um, I want enough money such that I can upgrade this Emporium to level 3, so I need 1,200 ducats. So, we have a truce with some people up here, but we've got claims on fucking everybody, so I'm thinking we start with maybe a stair? Oh, you'd call in Sirenvar. Maybe not starting with you then. You've only got one friend, that guy. Yeah, that works for me. Fuck this guy. Oh, he's got a big general too. Six shock versus my five shock. That's not good. But I have the men. And you get stack wiped. Are you also in disrepair? No. I would love to attack you, but not when you're allied to Sirenvar. Uh, new general person. Let's go with... 
Let's go on Manpower Man. We could invest in Diplotech well ahead of time, but I don't think I want to do that. They're probably in the Glade since that region is part of the Wills. Oh, oh yeah, Siren Vars right here. I mean, they're pretty big. They were a uh, valid rival up until very recently. I like how not enough of my guys have more than one shock. Sorry, Siege. Siege there is over. Oh, 11 shock. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's try and push him onto my fort. So, or someone's fort. Lose a shit ton of money. I don't have that much money. Um, merchant guilds, give me some loans. You know what? Let's, let's actually just upgrade this now. Oh, I can't. I'm at war. Alright, whatever then. I mean, he's doing a lot of damage to me. That 11 shock is fucking huge. But we still win, because fuck this guy. And claim on Nusha now. You've got a couple of friends. Probably go after you next. You should try out the Wood Elves. They have a really interesting mission tree and you have kind of a choice which part of the tree you want to go down. I like Wood Elves. I, I, I could see myself trying one at some point. Sure. One of the characters that I play in D&D is a Wood Elf. No peace. Not yet. Halfling minority size. Alright. How long until this is converted then? Uh, 75. Jesus fucking Christ. Ages away. I'm pretty sure I didn't do that either. That wasn't a, that wasn't a click that I made as far as I am aware. Gawed and Grombar. Gawed, just so you're aware, fuck you. Gawedy culture is an oxymoron, I'm glad you noticed. Does Golden Age help with conversion? I don't think so. All power costs, blah, 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 blah. yeah, no. Rosande, that's the main fella. Yeah, I want to I wanna siege the capital first, because you're getting your capital pillaged. Studies fail, for fuck's sake! That's the worst part about this mod, is you study for literally ten years, and then right at the fucking end of it, you fail. It sucks so hard. At least I'm fucking immortal now, you know, that's... That's the one good thing. Uh, we've got a spy network on you, it's huge. Oh, I spread vampires there, fuck yeah. Why not? And also steal maps of somewhere if I can. Any, any maps? Any maps? Ooh, yes. One province, fuck yeah. Or one there. Six, wow. Is there anything else that's reasonable? Nah, fuck it. We'll leave it, fuck it, don't care. I just want to win this siege and get over it with. Where does the population decision come from? It's from another mod. Yes, it's from the, uh, it's from a mod by Hehodas, uh, called 
Population something or other. I will find it just real quick. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube later, this will be in the description below. Um, but if you're watching on stream, then there is a link in the stream right now. Alright, that's the siege done. So, peace you out. I want all of your money. 500 ducats. I would like to pillage your capital, because fuck you. And I would like war reparations. And also trade power. And... That's it. Thank you kindly, motherfucker. Uh, then this guy... Well, first off, we'll get our troops. Back home. Alright, sue you for peace. Uh, we'll have... We'll just have... Mm, these two. We'll, we'll give them two provinces. That's not the button. Raven March, Raven March. We want these two. All of your money. Pillage. War reps. Trade power. Done. I couldn't see. Did that say coalition or not? 41, 39. Okay, we're good. I always forget to check. What do I need for the Corveld decision? I need Admin Tech 13, a new Corveld it needs to be Dev 20, uh, and that's just it there. Is there anything here that's called Corveld? Uh, it doesn't seem like anything there is called, called Corveld. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, we've got 2,000 ducats. What we're going to do is upgrade you to level 3. Which is not enough to get this, because I also need 40 mercantilism. I'm currently at 70. I know I can promote it. That's fucking expensive. That's really expensive. We'll get it to 20. Oh yeah, you also need a Balaward with a workshop. Forgot about that. There's a whole mission chain that focuses on draining the shitty swamp land and making it good again. It's on the right side. Rebuild the river trade, depopulating the folly, that stuff. Healing the folly. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna I'll get to that eventually. I need thirty prestige, is what I need for this one mission. That gains me th uh, three command uh, mercantilism. Uh, I need fifty professionalism. We're currently at twenty-three. I need. Oh yeah, I need to find out who's an elector. Oh shit! The regent dominant bloody bloop thing. Uh, well, hell yeah, I'm going on the Coronite League, and I need to make some electors like me a bit more. Uh, there we go. Istralor is already liking me a lot. The Magisterium. Don't need you there anymore. Uh, we're still currying favors in you, right? Let's see. Do you have any money for me? You do not have that much money. What fucking use are you if you can't give me the money that you say you're going to give me? I think the rest of it we should probably pay back some loans. Yeah, let's pay back a couple of those loans. We still have a chunky debt. But it's okay. Alliance breaking with Laurent. No, at least give me money first, you fuck. Uh, let me guess, you're on the other side of this. Yep, he's the leader of the Regent Court League. Well, fuck. Let's just make the Magisterium like us a lot. Not for the first time, either. Uh, what we're also going to do is pop a chunky fella there. 
and we are going to force this to revolt. 12 regiments, but fuck it, who cares? Just want to get it over and done with. So I can have you go home. You can drill. You guys are going to group up and drill. There's 50 admin or 10 prestige. Stop making me lose prestige. It's really annoying. So, Laurent is no longer a friend. But we still have favors in him. Don't need that there anymore. And get rid of that now. Right, we're st aren't we still married to this guy? No, okay. Alliance with small country. We will join ongoing offensive wars of small country. Attitude towards small country set friendly. What? Halflings def uh, defy the Gawedi oppressors. The halfling people of the small country are there. Uh, I've had enough of the rule of the hated enemies of Gawed and broken free. Should we ally with them? Uh, I would love to, but like, what am I going to do? Fuck it. Why not? Have they got any more fr Oh, <laughs> back, back friends with uh, Laurent again. Like, if there was a way for me to get up to Gawed, sure, I would totally help out, but there isn't, so fuck it. Like, Ibavar is my friend, right? No. They used to be my enemy. Shinyanda has reconquest on Ibavar, actually. And there's just no way that I can get over there, so fuck it. Sorry, fellas. We're going to go back to drilling. Can I upgrade the wonders that I have? Yeah, but it's like a thousand gold to start the wonders. And honestly, the bonuses... They're all right, I guess. They're not anything amazing. Like, defensiveness isn't really... Something I'm going to write home about, you know? I can use the Navy. Oh yeah, my four transport ships. My four incredibly outdated transport ships. And... Uh, eight <laughs> trade ships are going to totally help with this. They're going to be so good at this. Jesus, look at the fucking speed. What the fuck was that? It was like a beaver running across my country at Mac fucking 12. Madness. Do you think I'll play another series when Mayo and Texas 3.0 releases? Uh, probably not. Maybe. I don't know. I have played 3.0 a while back, and I don't know, it's probably changed, but it wasn't really to my liking. They went in a direction that I wasn't massively in favor of. And that's that done. Uh, there's relations with Pearl's Edge. Did I get you to 100? Nowhere near. I can still get the Magisterium to uh, high enough, though. Uh, small country is going to be dead soon. Don't need to worry about them for very much longer. Alright, 212 days. We'll be able to get an extra 10% off here. Any plans for a future Anbanar MP? Yes. That's all I'll say on it for now. Uh, we'll repay another one of the loans. Oh, Bullis I getting onto the island. Screw these Aborthils, they are annoying. Uh... Actually, we, we we probably should uh, help out now. West Dam's here. Right, 
one more month, and then we'll take Diplotech, get the four innovativeness, and get ourselves up to 55, 56, almost. That's gonna be nice. Wherever March's opinion of me goes up. Okie dokie. I like how the Magisterium is Cory Knight. <laughs> they are. Love it. I ain't gonna complain. All right, and now my tech is that little bit cheaper. So we'll take that. Alliance breaking with Bulisar. Let me guess, Bulisar is on the other side. I don't see them. Yeah, they're right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Well, that's annoying. Uh, but what we have been able to do is a mission somewhere. What mission is it? Enthrall the electors. Aha! The combined forces of the Empire are too much for us to take on in one invasion. Fortunately, there are those with the power that may be convinced to look the other way. So, I get a permanent claim on Rotwall and East Borders. Siege ability, aggressive expansion impact, all that kind of good shit. Sure, do I want to take this right now? Probably. Why not? Ooh, that's nice. Eh, it's not that many claims. Come here, bitch. I have an army. I want to use it. Fear me. Spanked. Oh, wow. Two stack wipes. I don't mind if I do. And there's Vertesk. More like, more like grotesque, am I right? Ha 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 ha. Uh, we'll get... None of these are good. Fuck it, we'll have Trade of Infancy, man. Oh, you just wanted to fight me on the surface hold. That's annoying. Let's go get some more replenishment. I mean, oh, actually, the small countries actually, you know, holding their own. Probably because Laurent is involved. Bulisar's cancelled military access. They've probably cancelled the alliance as well. Yerp. Okie dokie. Um, hey, Giga, how you doing? Isn't there a version of Ambanar where it adds all of Halles? Isn't Halles the island that's down here? Because that's this version. I'm pretty sure that's already in. It might not be. I don't know. Alright, let's go and kick some butt. I don't want to fight them in fucking Silverforge again. That would suck. Or that did suck. I don't want to fight you in the mountains either. Urban terrain is negative one. I can probably deal with a negative one. Or I guess the woods. Except that we're tapped on military manpower, mana. Let's pop just some in here. Good enough. 
So, uh, we've got a negative one, but we've got four shock advantage and a five um, fire advantage. So we should be okay, I would guess. Kills and losses weren't actually that much in my favor, as I would have hoped. Big stat wipe, big stat wipe. Go all the way to uh, Vertesk and murder them there. I thought the command was in Banaz China. Uh, I, I mean, the command is like... Where would the command be? Like here? I don't know. Things are going to get a bit muddled after, after a while. There's another fatty stack wipe. And here shall be another... Hopefully. Oh, yes. Fatty stack wipes. Bit south of where I thought. Yeah, I mean, it's close enough. I kind of want this war to be over. I'm not going to lie. It was it was fun to be in it, but like you know, I got shit to do, buddy. Oh, there's a bit bucket version of Amber now. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm just going with the public one for now. How much have I contributed so far? Uh, Corvuria, thirty-seven percent, almost as much as Laurent. It was, like, right next to them. Thing is, I could ship troops over to, like, the south coast of Laurent and then come north, but... Honestly, can't be fucked. <laughs> Can you stop having rebellions? That'd be nice. Cheers, vassal. It's fine, my manpower is pretty top, so I'm not not worried about it. Did I dev a little bit too much? I think I did. I don't like development. Development's a terrible mechanic. There's a version where it basically adds the China of the mod. Ah, okay. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet. I'll just play the, the public versions. Which is each of these, 286. Hopefully when this war is over and we win, I'll get some money out of it. You broke down the bloody walls already. Rude. Ah, oh, this is a fucking joke at this point. We'll go deal with it. How did he see me coming? Like, seriously. The actual cheese on this fucking AI. And by cheese, I mean they literally just cheat. Come here! I've got fucking five maneuver. Four maneuver. I should be catching you. Are his troops made of fucking elves or something? Selamador. Selmaldor. Selmaldor. Yeah, no, he's an elf. That that makes sense, actually. My five maneuver ain't got shit on, like, elven legs. Someone's just peaced out. West Ham. I got 73 ducats. Not bad. Fuck it, I'm going home. Actually, the opportunity to shit on a bit of uh, Gawed doesn't strike me as a bad opportunity. There's a lot of Towers of London models in this mod. Is there?
Which one is the Tower of London model? Money. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it works fine for me. Small country is going to get fucking thick. Will I stream for two more hours? Probably. I've only been going an hour. Yeah, I think it's time to go home and drill for a bit. Wex's capital has one. Does that look like the Tower of London to you? Doesn't look like it to me. Bull Ord has one. Are you talking about this building with a blue roof? Is that the Tower of London? It doesn't look like Tower of London. Because everywhere has one of those. There's a, there's a monument map mode? Is there? Since when? Geographical, maybe. Great projects. Alright, so where are we putting this? How the fuck do you do this again? Where we, We'll put it in the development area. Great projects. Is somewhere. Where is it? Hey, that's cool. We just have a couple of Alhambras, because why not? Well, damn. Almost everyone on the mod team hates monuments, and these were thrown at the game just to stop people asking where the monuments are. <laughs> Fair enough. See where you're coming from. They're not... I, w I wouldn't say I hate them, but they're not exactly... Uh, I don't think they're necessary. The cool monuments are in Alentir. I can't see much of Alentir yet. Oh, I can. Fuck it. Never mind. I'll take that back. I do see a lot of Alentir. We have the Bone Citadel. Oh, yeah, I can see that being cool. Uh, we have... Dobon do, Dobon Dotimveb Dobon Dotimveb Tolerance and stuff Missionary strength, stability cost uh, That's the only ones I see There could be more Hidden None in uh, None in the south Interesting you don't Have one in the Central island, you'd have thought this would be like you know, something on Moon Isle with the with the Dame's Tear, you know, something like that. You'd have thought they'd be there. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Stop having rebellions. Yeah, yeah, that's the Alhambra, not the Tower of London. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we can pay off another one of our loans. Right, what we need to do is get ourselves 50 professionalism. Okay, we've got a lot of spare mana. Trash, give me mover. There we go. Naval Federinos, go away you and you and you. Lovely. Alright, you can start drilling again. Oh yeah, we're, st we're still at war. I forgot about that. I wouldn't mind going to shit on Gawed a little bit. Hey, Owl Deer is formed as well. Not that I can see them. Oh, I can see them. 
20 dev only. Pathetic. So, Gowed, who are you allied with? No one. You, you have no allies over here whatsoever. So, the idea that you can have... You can see me is completely insane. There is no way that you should be able to see me at all until I'm right next to you. Let's see at what point he decides he wants to run away. I'm guessing Sestier Bridge. He'll start, oh shit, he's coming, I'm gonna run. Hey. Fucking, fucking look at it though. Why are you running away? You're running away because of me. You absolute cheese master. I really want the three innovativeness. Thriving community of vampires in Wex. Fucking sick. Blood court cool. Where are these fucking Goedians? There they are. Die, bitches. They can actually get into Vern. Oh, there's some more. Where are you running off to? Come back here. Thank you. Oh, the go uh, Goed's back up north. This independence war is so long, I know. It's probably because I didn't go over there and actually do shit. Goed is on low. They should want peace. Also, have you just noticed that Goed started running away again? Because they cheat and bastards, is why. The AI in this game really annoys me. Like, a lot. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Let's upgrade my cannons to... sexier cannons. Oh, the war's over! For Vertesk. Only. Uh, but I gained 112 ducats. <laughs> Why food is running away? <laughs> uh, I don't actually think the AI cheats on fort and zone of control, even though many people think seem to think so. <sighs> this is garbage. This is garbage. This is the worst part of the mod. It feels terrible. How many times do I need to fucking study magic before it works? And it's not even cheap, right? It's really fucking expensive. But you just fail, and then you fail again, and then you fail again, and then, oh, guess what? You fail again. It's oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Just let me be a master fucking necromancer so that I can raise an army of undead and conquer the world with it. What is so bad about that? I, I don't get it. What's, what, what's wrong with this plan? Other than study fail, study fail, study fail, study fail. Every fucking time. Uh, the monuments that are in the game are not all there will be. As I said, these were just hastily thrown in to have something. That makes sense. And I realise that I'm, like, complaining about a part of the mod while the mod devs are in. But, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some numbers can be tweaked so that it's not quite so annoying. Like, for example, and here is, here is a suggestion for this study-fail thing. If you fail a study the first time... Maybe there is an increased chance to not fail the next time. And then if you fail twice in a row, third time, you're guaranteed to win. You're looking into reworking it. Thank God for that. It's so annoying. It is really not fun to continually fail at it. It's like magic is so fucking cool. I just don't want 
you know, to not play with it because study fail. Look, I already failed my fucking real studies. I don't want to do it in a game as well. It's kind of, kind of lame you invest 10 years and get a lol fuck you at the end. It's not even 10 years, right? This, I haven't passed the last three times I've done it. It's been 30 years of lol fail. It just doesn't, it's not fun to continually fail. So yeah, it's it's actually really nice to hear that you're fixing it. Just at least give a percentage and a way to improve chances like having a good monarch, except uh, example of 666. Yeah, I got a fucking 466 it's, and a vampire, and I'm trying to study necromancy. You'd think there should be some some uh, modifiers on like, yeah, nah, you can, you're probably cool on that one. How is this war not over? Like, fuck me. Just, just win already, please. Like, come on, buddy. How many men has he even got left? It's still, I mean, he's still got a fair number of troops. Well, if you think about it, take away my troops from this. Actually, Lorenz got more than I do by quite a bit. Aptitude for magic modifier, something like that. It took me 120 years to reach legendary necromancy. That's just sad. Oh, Jesus, thank fuck. So. He didn't even take land! What the actual fuck? Geralt will cede Westmere. Okay. Where's Westmere? Geralt owned this, apparently. Renounce their claims on all of the stuff they had. Force give 10% of the income to small country. Only 61 fucking crowns? What an actual joke of a piece. Actual fucking joke. That is so dumb. I lost 20,000 men for this. <laughs> you had them at 80 fucking war score. And instead of like, you know, oh, we're going to take land from you, like, nah. Let's make it so that he doesn't have cores on us. <laughs> brain dead. Actually brain dead. Did they get independence? They did get independence, yeah. But they had independence already. We lost a military leader. That is fucking big sad. Let's get one back. It's going to be called Lucian Davis. Now it's a shit name. Alan Rackman. I'm fucking down for it. I'm fucking down for that. He's not bad either. Hell yeah. 